Good evening. There's been a breakthrough in the body in the suitcase mystery, with police confirming they've identified the woman found on the Swan River. As reported first by Nine News last night, the woman lived in Mosman Park. Jared Massey, she was a wealthy recluse. Yes, Tim, it's taken police nine weeks to identify the victim as Annabelle Chen. She lived on this Mosman Park Street for 14 years, but none of her neighbours noticed she'd been missing for more than two months. Detectives say she was a mother, a very quiet woman who was also quite spiritual. She does have family here in Perth, but they're estranged and she recently divorced from her husband. This breakthrough actually came from her daughter, who lives in Melbourne. She reported her mother missing to police on Friday night. The face of a brutal crime finally has a name. This is Mosman Park mother Annabelle Chen. Her body discovered in a suitcase in the Swan River months ago. Yesterday, the breakthrough, Nine News revealed police were searching her Mosman Park home. Today, forensics and detectives were back as police asked for help. She is an extremely spiritual but very, very private woman. We know that she attended a number of different churches and temples to pray. And what I'm asking is for any members of those churches or temples who may know this lady to please come forward so that we can fill in the details of her life. Mrs Chen was both Buddhist and Catholic and spoke Mandarin, Malay and Cantonese. She was an artist, wealthy and lived alone. But why she was killed and dumped in the Swan River inside the bag is still a mystery. Her daughter lives in Melbourne and never saw WA Police's major public appeal to identify her. On Friday she flew here after being unable to contact her mother and filed a missing persons report. We went out and did the door knock in relation to Mrs Chen with no connection to the fact that there had been a body located in the suitcase. Confirmation came from DNA taken inside the 57-year-old's home. Two fishermen made the grim discovery more than nine weeks ago on July the 2nd. Detectives say the suitcase was dumped in the Swan River earlier that week, sometime between Thursday the 30th of June, when Mrs Chen was last seen, and Saturday the 2nd. Police divers found a modified scooter during their search that may have been used to transport the case. Along with the cutting board attached to the base with cable ties, there could be a makeshift trolley. Mrs Chen was estranged from her family living in Perth. Where she went or who came to her house on Meath Muse could provide the next crucial clue. We are still asking people if they do have a CCTV footage system or a CCTV system to have a look at the footage specifically from the 30th of June onwards. Alice Pooley, Nine News. So the focus now for police is to find Annabelle Chen's killer. Jira Damasi forensic officers are spending another night there scouring her home. Yes, Tim Police are still guarding the 57-year-old's home here on Meath Mews in Mosman Park. Three days now after the breakthrough and they're showing no signs of packing up this evening. Uh, forensics have spent the day fingerprinting uh, fences and windows. They're looking for any sign of a struggle or any clues that can lead them to uh, the mystery woman's killer. Now, so far, it's understood that nothing major has been found by police that would give them uh, any clues as to that. Even the woman's car is still at her home here, but detectives say they'll be trying to piece together her final movements on that last day she was seen in hopes that it can solve this mystery. Emmy. Jerry, thank you.